but but getting serious, here is Obama, one of the little jewels from his speech about how our institutions are what make American democracy great, not our individuals. Here is the clip that is 180 degrees, the opposite of what our republic was founded on. Or as one. That is part of the reason why America has the finest fighting force in the history of the world. It is also true that our democracy depends upon institutions that are stronger than individuals. That includes strict adherence to the military chain of command and respect for civilian control over that chain of command. Ah. And that's why, as Commander-in-Chief, I believe this decision is necessary to, s to hold ourselves accountable to standards that are okay. at the core of our democracy. And so, again, Hitler is the government in 1939 Germany, and uh, you must do what the Fuhrer says, even if it violates the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You must follow orders. Well, we know what happened uh, at Nuremberg. But understand, we're not a democracy. We're a constitutional republic. And I know you, the listeners of this transmission, understand that. I know that you are fully aware of that, but your neighbors aren't. I mean, you could argue to explain to them. They'll say, well, we are a democracy, and go, well, our founders didn't call us a democratic republic. We're a constitutional republic. That means the people found a system to protect their liberty, their freedom, their property, and their right to live their life as they see fit as long as they don't hurt others. And that if 51% votes to make the other 49% work as their slaves, it doesn't happen in a republic. In a democracy, it does. So that's why they always say democracy, democracy. And institutions, our, our, our country, he says, you know, as a democracy is able to function because institutions are bigger and more important than people. Well, yeah, in a democracy, in a slave system, uh, that is the case, but this isn't even a democracy. The uh, if they could get fifty-one percent to vote for slavery, uh, they're not going to share the booty with the fifty-one percent. No, in every poll, even the dumbed-down American public, because you know they're smart, they're uninformed, they're somewhat informed. It runs the gamut. You know, the ugly American analogy has some validity, but there's the ugly German, the ugly Chinese, the ugly African, the ugly uh, you know. Every country has its bad people. So, yeah, there's the ugly American, there's the ugly Frenchman. But, but, but overall, there's a whole diversity to a country. And the public doesn't want open borders over 80% in major polls. The, the public doesn't want uh, carbon taxes over 80% in major polls. The public, 99% in Gallup polls, didn't want the banker bailout, but it happened. So this isn't really even a democracy. They just tell you, you voted, this is what you want. But then they buy off the politicians and only put people forward for high office who've already got so much dirt on them and are so compromised they can destroy them anytime they want. And to watch that Chicago mob boss with another mob boss, Biden, the total gangster, he's describing people in the diplomatic corps as a gangster, sitting there with that, yeah, Don Corleone, oh, I tell you, Bassini's a pimp. It wasn't until the day I knew, you know, Tatalia's a pimp. It wasn't until the day I knew it was Bassini, though. When I die, you'll be invited to a meeting, and at that meeting, you'll be assassinated. Uh, these are quotes from The Godfather. I, I mean, that to look at them going, you will follow the order of, put the mob bosses up there, of these guys, but they're only regional capos over North America. They work for the big Rothschild mafia above them. 